Now let's talk about the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Lesson Activity Toolkit is a little bit like um, clip art. Um, and when I go over here to my picture frame and choose my gallery, I'm actually going to close the gallery up by clicking on that again. And underneath it should be Lesson Activity Toolkit. If you don't see this, um, email the technology department because sometimes it has to be installed. But in the newer versions of Notebook, it's usually built right in. When I choose this, you're going to see that I have all sorts of different activities. Um, the one I have right now open on my page is called the Vortex Sort. And all of these Activity Toolkit um, images can be customized. So I made one here. To, to give me some different things for even and odd. So down below I typed these in and now if they take a one and try to stick it in the even it will shoot it back out. If they try to stick a one in the odd it sucks it into the vortex. Um, to edit one of these you're going to click on the drop down menu. Oh nope sorry you're not going to click. You're going to choose edit. <laughs> There you go. There's edit right there. Um, you have your two labels, even and odd, are the two I chose, but maybe you do living, non-living, um, anything like that. Then my labels are here, and this is the drop down. I tell it where it's going to go in order to get the right answer. You can turn off the rotation of the vertices if you'd like. You can also password protect it if you want. When you have everything how you like it, you can just say OK and it will create it. Um, once I have a few of these thrown in here, if I wanted to start over, Oops, not paying attention. Okay, if I wanted to start over, I just hit the reset button. Now that is called the vortex sort. So when you get into Lesson Activity Toolkit, you'll want to look around um, for different things. Most of these, all of these really are flash. So you may have to make sure that your flash player is up to date. Um, I know they're flash because they have this red F in the corner of them. So when you scroll down, you'll see I've got all sorts of different things here. Multiple choice, keyword sort, pairs, pull tabs. Here's a blue vortex sort. Um, they have many different color options, red, green, orange orange. Um, it's the same exact thing. It just is a different color on it. Guess the word, hot spots on the earth, categories, image or range. Um, I'll show you a couple more that I put in here. Here's one, meat and fish, fruits and vegetables. This one, instead of using words, well, it was supposed to use pictures. Might have to edit that one. There they are when I choose this. I'm not sure what happened to those. Let's go on to the next one. Here's some. You can pre-type these in. Bulleted lists. Put the following morning routine items in order. Click and drag. Find the matching shapes. Scroll down a little bit. Clicking. So let me show you a couple more before we go into tabs. So in the activity toolkit right here, you'll notice that some of these are actual pages. Others are pre-built for you. There are activities right here that are ready to go. Interactive anagrams. Um, sometimes they have things that are just clip art. You really have to play around with this. I mean, every time I come in here, it seems that they're adding more things on to the lesson activity toolkit. So you want to just go through that. Let's close games, graphics, pull tabs, buttons. You know, so these are not flash. Again, interactive with the flash shows us up here. So lots and lots of things. Some pre-created pages for you, instruction. When I see one I want to check out, I just simply click it and drag it over, drop it, and there it is. Answer one, answer two. So you would go in and change this to you know whatever you want it to be. Lots and lots of options for Lesson Activity Toolkit.